You know, it wouldn't be a true DIY if there weren't bumps along the way. All right, y'all, today is the day, I think we've said that like three times in the last week, <laughs> talking about all different things, but today is the day. I am gonna put cabinet hardware on our cabinets. It's only taken two years, which uh, may seem like a long time to some of you, but when you have seven kids, that is like basically like a short little blip. Um, so. <laughs> So at one point when we first moved in, I had measured out with like electrical tape on all of the cabinets. Like, you know, I put it on here so I could kind of step back and visualize how long I wanted the handles on different things. Like the pools, I wanted to be longer. Um, and then we have some like really short drawers over here. And I wrote down all the measurements so that I could order them because some of them I needed to like custom order. And then I lost all the measurements. And once that happened, I said, I'm not doing that again. And so two years later, I finally said, that's it, I'm done. We're moving soon, we need cabinet hardware. Funny how that happens. Um, and I just went on Amazon and guesstimated and ordered and thought, if it's not like exactly what I had measured out and thought before, I don't really think I will remember or know. So, <laughs> so we got in the boxes over there, all of our cabinet hardware in. I've got this really cool tool that I also bought on Amazon. Looks like this, very interesting. But you can set the measurements for the handles on like one of the doors, and then you use it as a template and go flip it door to door to door so that you don't have to measure and like do each specific one. You can just really quickly mark where the holes go, drill all the holes. I'm thinking to do all of these maybe will take me like 30 to 45 minutes. And that's just because we do have different size, like three different size uh, handles to do. But let's get started. All right, I got all of the holes drilled on the doors. Now I have to adjust the template to do um, to do these little drawers and then the two doors over there because the handles aren't the same size for those. And this thing won't work for the drawer handles, so I'm just gonna have to eyeball that. Um, but I'm usually pretty good at that, so we'll see. John is picking up the girls from preschool. My mom is over here having a tea party with Tyler and Elena. And then our other two are at a birthday party with our friend Becca, so it's pretty quiet, pretty chill. I'm gonna try to knock this out. This thing makes it so fast. Like I got all the holes marked and drilled in probably 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, I think the, the, the big drawers will be the hardest part, but on to the next one. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I was gonna make like a paper template, you know, like I rolled this up, put holes in it, and try to use that, but I think at the very, very like tippy end, it's like barely hanging in there, but I think it's close enough that I can use this for the drawer handles, which I'm actually really excited about because it's gonna make it a lot easier. So these are the last things I need to measure and punch holes in, drill holes in. Um, and I just realized I forgot a handle here and a pull here. So just a little bit more uh, to measure and then put holes in and then we can put the hardware in. Oh dearie. Well that was dumb. I just put drill marks for a handle on the side where this drawer is actually a pull out. This one is our trash and it pulls and I meant to put it on the top. So we've got some, I'll have to just fill that in. Not a big deal. I gotta measure now to do a pull here and a pull here. And then that, that's every hole. Yes. All right. Almost done. Last thing to do, um, last couple things. I'm gonna go vacuum up all this sawdust, feed my baby, cause he's hungry, and then come put all the handles on and show you the final results. 
Oh, look who's back. Ev, man. They're playing Guess Who. Oh, look at that. That was so cute. Everly, I mean Marin. I got my baby. What did you say? Um, uh, are you three? Uh, yeah. How old's your baby? Uh, All right. Go ahead. Ask me a question. He's zero. Uh -huh. Yeah. She loves this baby. John's back. He's eating sushi. I'm actually gonna eat before I put the hardware on because. Because I'm hungry, I have not actually eaten today yet. We got bunnies inside because I'm pretty sure Marigold is gonna have baby bunnies. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be an exciting day. Don't know when exactly. We're on Mama Labor Watch. So <sighs> I see all these holes. Okay, I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be great. We gotta talk to this boy because today is a special day for my little Liz boy. You know what happened today? Tell them. <laughs> well, the big thing that happened is that Israel turns five months old today. Oh. I know he's Zuri's growing gonna up. Be, Zuri's gonna be a year. Oh, just Look how to... sweet you are. You're a sweet boy. I love you. I love him more. Look at this. It's nice and squishy. You know, it wouldn't be a true DIY if there weren't <laughs> bumps along the way. Okay, so ran into a few bumps. The template worked great when I did the bathrooms upstairs. I don't know what happened, cause like there would be a set of double doors and the one fit perfectly and the one, the one next to it was off by like just enough. Um, a little more than just enough. So I have been like, what I thought was gonna take me maybe an hour and ish to knock out is, it's now dinner time, it's now, dark and the kids bedtime so we're gonna pause I have almost all of it done I need to go to bed too I am exhausted I've gotten like I don't know maybe like 12 hours of sleep in the last three days total because we've been up responding to messages and just all in and it's been the most exciting but I think I'm coming to that like crash point of okay I need some real rest so we're gonna retire early tonight I'll show you the cabinets tomorrow All right, you guys, if you did not see our live video from the other day, we are jumping into a brand new endeavor. I changed jobs and I am so pumped about it. And the timing couldn't have been better because two new products were released. I just got them in the mail today. I'm gonna open this up and then show you what I got. Okay, one super cool thing is that these are totally biodegradable. It will dissolve under running water or I can feed them to my chickens. How cool is that? I am so excited. Okay, the reason that we um, were originally super interested in Modera was because of their liquid collagen. So they just released this brand new one. It is called Immune. It has wolf berries, which are insanely good for your health. Just Google goji berries. Uh, it has elderberry. I know a lot of you probably are familiar with elderberry syrup and its benefits. It has zinc in it, which right now is something a lot of people have been learning more about and taking. And it has, of course, their amazing collagen, which is clinically studied and proven to do all the things. Improve joint mobility and lubrication improve skin hydration, firmness, and tone. You know when like babies have the super soft, supple skin? That's collagen. And your body stops making it when you turn around 30. So once you start seeing fine lines and wrinkles and more like sagging to your skin, uh, when you start getting those like aches and pains, you wake up after a full night's rest feeling just like everything hurts. Good sign that you could use some collagen in your life. So I grabbed two bottles of this new one. I am pumped because I used to take all of those supplements separately and now I just get to do the one. Uh, I grabbed two bottles of their non-toxic deodorant. So pumped for, I'm a huge advocate for like not putting any toxins under your armpits, especially as a nursing a mom. Uh, but that's where your body needs to detox. So you don't wanna be layering on more toxins right there. The cool thing about this is if you use our link, you get $10 off. This is only $7, so you can actually grab it for free. This is just a cute little glass beaker to measure the collagen to take um, this. I am pumped about, this is brand new. It is non-toxic sunless tanner, you guys. It's a foam 
This is a way bigger bottle than I thought it would be. Uh, and I've seen the before and after pictures. It's amazing. I will share some with you guys once I get to using it. Gotta shave my legs first. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But then they sent this free mitt with it because I ordered it the day it came out. I'm so pumped. I got two of those so I could share with a friend um, and that friend being my mom. I also grabbed some collagen for Chase. He's our German Shepherd lab mix. German Shepherds are just so well known for having hip issues. He's only four and a half and I can just see that it's hard for him to get up and down. So I'm gonna start him on this collagen, which supports healthy joints and skin. Um, and just see if we can't give him the best quality of life, especially for being such a young dude. He needs to be feeling good for many, many more years. Last but not least, I grabbed a box of each flavor of the Go. This is like an energy supplement added to water on the Go. Um, it helps support balanced energy, promotes mental focus, heightens mental alertness, and um, it doesn't have junk in it. So this is like a great afternoon pick-me-up through the day when you start to feel that slump and you need a little more energy, or if you are pulling all-nighters responding to people's messages, which is where John and I have been this entire week, and it's been amazing, but I'm so tired. So this is gonna come handy for that. Anyway, all these goodies. Cannot wait. If you want to try any one of them or any of Modera's products, you can use our code. It'll give you $10 off anything on the whole website. And if it's something under $10, it'll be totally free. I'll put the shopping code in the description of this video for you. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the kitchen cabinet reveal, because I am finally done! <laughs> it feels so weird walking in there each time. I'm like, whoa, whose kitchen is this? It's not my kitchen. It actually looks like a kitchen. It's actually finished. Let's go see it. We did it, it's done. We now officially have handles on every cabinet except the ones above the fridge because I just, we'll just do this. Like, <laughs> two years from now, probably. <laughs> really, uh, with next month is our two year like anniversary of moving in. Uh, <laughs> I just am laughing at myself and y'all are probably too, but it, seriously, uh, it looks so different. Our kitchen finally looks complete, feels so good. It's so much easier to open the drawers. I can't even believe. Um, and we had just enough of these long ones to put one on this fake drawer. And we put two of the long ones up here just to make it more of like a standout statement. And I really love it. So I think it's funny that you can't, you've forgotten how easy it is supposed to be to open a drawer. You're like, yeah. I can't even believe how easy it is. <laughs> Look, you just gotta. You just pull it and it opens. It's so much easier. Uh, but it does show me that, guys, we can do hard things. I'm feeling extra grateful today for these new handles. Uh, and my mom said it was really, really easy to put the dishes away this morning from the dishwasher. So I know she's feeling grateful too. All right, John, I need you to grab me uh, a, a plate. Grab me a plate. Can you do it? Oh my goodness, look at that. Actually, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I need you to put that back and I need you to grab me a Tupperware container because those were the hardest ones well, that to open. Was, this one was the hardest. Okay, close it then. You can grab a clump of something out there. Whatever's in oh, there. We haven't goodness. opened it in two years. Show them, close them and show them how you opened it before. This, this was how we used to open it. And you had to have finger strength to do it. Uh, <laughs> I know, and gosh. I would open the bottom one first and then the top. Yeah, you could do Go that. ahead, show them how I did that. I would, no, yeah, the open the bottom, then open the top. There you go. And close the back So now we just have to do this. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Isn't it funny that it's like the most simple thing, but we're so excited about it? It's just, if you guys ever thought that we were egotistical, um, thought highly of ourselves, here's your sign. We are actually very simple kind of people. And on that note, we're gonna go continue our simple kind of day. We love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click follow, follow again, and then tap see first to make sure you stay up to date on what's going on with our family.